So, now, you've seen a couple of months ago that I set up my first uh, simulator rig and um, yes, it is for me I love to race and really like to race in a digital way because it gets really expensive to race on a, on a track um, so that's I figured I could train at least myself so if I have the chance to race one time on a, on a racetrack no matter where it is, asphalt, gravel, whatever then at least I can be prepared and get reference points of, um, of a racetrack and of a car so I, it's been now about um, three months that I actually fell in love with the North Life uh, circuit. I never been there. I always watched the video, but I never knew the track. So what I thought I would do back in July or time frame, I, I no, actually I think it was September. Sorry. So back in September time frame, I decided to have a go and learn the track a little bit uh, using, um, I would say, lower performance cars. And uh, so I started with the uh, WTR TCRs, which are actually one of the best cars I actually drive. And, um, you know, and build my way up. So I learned the reference points of the track and um, then step by step, I will increase uh, the level of car performance uh, up to, to a certain point. And by watching videos after that, I was able to say, oh yeah, I know that corner. Oh yeah, I know that corner. I said, how can you go that fast in that corner in real life? Um, until I saw the Pagani's on the R video, you know, that was back in it was 2009, I think they did the, uh, the 6.47, the 6 minutes 47 around the uh, North Life track. And I thought, I wonder if I have a Pagani's on the R in the system. So I do check it and I have it. So I figure, why don't I just give it a go? So at least I understand what this guy has been going through. Well, it took about three quarters to understand how difficult it is to drive that but Pagani on the R on that kind of track. So I started giving a go and it really was impossible for me to finish even the lap without crashing. And honestly, we started talking about the, the difficulty. It was just mind blowing how fast this car is. And how accurate you have to be with the throttle not to speed. So it took some time and uh, today I'm actually, I feel quite confident I can go around the North Lifer with the Pagani and I want to challenge the world record that's been done on the real life. So I'm going to give it a go, see what happens. So I'm going to just click my system, switch it on, it's a little bit cold, it's a little bit cold but yes, um, we are now going to adjust my seat, we will choose, uh, no thank you now, uh, Germany, no Schleife, the one we know, 20 kilometers point eight. And uh, we are going to choose the Pagani on the R. So it says 6 minutes 47. So we're gonna go around it. Uh, we're gonna go with the warm tires. Uh, oh, oops, it did not select it. So yeah, we're gonna go with warm tires. So uh, heavy clouds, but dry and 26 degrees of temperature and um, i think it was yeah i think that's that's fine we we don't want to do it on a on a wet track because i'll definitely crash so without further ado i will start loading this stuff and get ready for this i know it's, it looks weird and i'm wearing gloves it actually isn't the force speed that i get from from the steering wheel and from the whole system, which is 100% um, adjusted, so it's really 100% what you get from the car if you drove it in real life. It gives me like 
pain in, uh, in, my, in my hand. So a, a proper grip if I use the gloves. So I'm gonna go with it. So wish me luck and enjoy the race. And hope you enjoy the video. That is the big one.
boy, <laughs> I cannot believe it. And <laughs> yes, how hard it was to get like everything in order. It, like the most difficult part is not to uh, do the time like going fast. It's actually trying to keep the car in the track. It's just so so easy, and I had also a moment. And it is so easy to go off the track and it's just amazing. It took me three, three months basically to get everything in control with this car. And believe me, it's, it seems like, wow. And, and even if it seems maybe easy, it, it took me so much to, to go through. I have like so many replays that I have to go through uh, to, on, on, to, to go through on, on the sim set, uh, on the simulator, to understand where I was actually uh, doing wrong, you know, uh, controlling uh, the lines, uh, checking how I was doing with the pedals, and especially with the throttle, which is the main reason why I was going um, off the track, uh, spinning or going straight. And putting all in combination with also the actual videos that I watched like at least three times, like fairly, like corner by corner, then I was able to um, at least get the mindset of what, how this car has to be driven. And even in the real video, you could see the, the driver was also struggling so much in some of the sections where I actually did as well. So I have to go cautiously in those, in those points so that I will get benefit afterwards. So uh, basically the bottom line was you have to go fast in the points when you normally go slowest but without taking the risk of going off the track because then you will lose the whole all the points. I'm really, really so satisfied because um, obviously I've never driven the real thing and it will be amazing. And yeah, we probably won't be able to drive it the way uh, it was driven in real time, uh, in the real life. Um, but obviously this is the way we I can do it. And it felt like I was inside the car. The sound of the V12 is, so so ah, fascinating and it, it's, it's like music and uh, when I crashed a couple of times um, before with for this lap I I really felt like oh damn I'm gonna crash like a multi-million dollar car and uh, like a multi-million dollar car and I, I, <laughs> it felt like I was actually damaging the the, the real thing uh, uh, luckily we didn't today um, I'm very, very pleased. Uh, what car would you want me to drive next? Let me know in the comments and uh, I will tell you if it's possible, I will give it a go and I will keep you posted on the progress. Uh, make it difficult and give me a time. I'll try.